Hello, welcome back to my channel. We are gonna continue on with the decluttering. I will have some other videos other than the declutter stuff, hopefully after this one, but we're gonna keep going. We're gonna do my face palette drawer. I did actually move some drawers around. So the drawer that had my primers and stuff in it is on the cart that has all of my like extras, overflow stuff, backups, whatever you wanna call it. So I added an empty drawer on the makeup side. So I'm gonna see about having two drawers for face palettes and I may start putting my cream face palettes in here too, just so that I have a little bit more room in the cream drawer. So I'm gonna grab those and then we'll go through. And since I have more room, I'm not, forced to declutter per se, but we're gonna go through them. That way, if there's anything that I don't think that I'm gonna use, we can try and pass it I'm gonna it point you down a little bit so you don't have to see me necessarily the whole time. Okay, so here's the basket or the drawer, whatever you wanna call it. And then I do have the empty drawer right up here. So we'll try and split some things up. Let's go through the cream palettes first. There was also a cream bronzer palette in there and I just put that in with my bronzers because the cream drawer is a little full. So this is two blushes and a highlighter. This is from Laura Geller. This is new, so I'm gonna keep that. This drawer, that drawer was a little dusty, so I wiped it out real quick. Okay, so we're gonna keep this. I'm just gonna set this stuff off to the side and then can rearrange at the end here. Uh, this is from Appeal and it's got like brightening and concealer shades. You've got contour and bronzer shades and blush. It's really small, but like the pans are small, but you can fit, it's big enough you can fit your finger in there. So I'll keep that, I've only used it once or twice, I think. And then this is new. This is from Iconic London. Is this the new one? No, this is not the new one. This is the blush palette. We did get one. I'm thinking maybe I put my new one upstairs and didn't bring it down because we did get one that had blushes, um, bronzers, and highlighters. I am gonna keep this just because this one has a pretty wide variety. I like that you've got you know, a red blush and then it gets pretty light. So this one is not the face palette. Let me figure out where the face palette Rover is. ran back upstairs. It was in my new basket. Cause I was like, I think I filmed down here. I was filming upstairs for a while. So this is the one that's gonna go in with the face palette. So as you can see, you got two blushes, bronzer and contour, and then two highlighters. So this is the one that will go in with the face palette. This is a complete multitasking palette. I usually leave it on this table, which I think I might still do, but you got concealers, pressed powder, bronzer, blush, lip colors, highlighter, and then it does also have eyeshadows, a powder that's good for liner, brows, the whole, the whole kit and caboodle. I, they sell these It Girl beauty books on QVC during the holidays. I got, this one's from like two years ago. The one they released last year was the same one as this. So, Emily Noel is a good resource for these. She usually buys them. I don't think she got the one last year because it was identical to this. I think they just changed the outer packaging. But I'm curious because it is a good, like I leave this out on my table and I do use it. So I don't know if this, this may go in the drawer. We'll see. I've got one from Sephora. My mother-in-law gave me this for my birthday last year. So it's got two blushes, a highlighter and a bronzer. And it's actually, it's, this is an enchant. It's not super dark, but it's dark enough that it shows up on me. So it, it's actually a really nice palette. I have traveled with this. I think cause they're baked. It, this is one that travels really well. 
I have an Ulta Beauty one that's really nice. This is in Santorini Sun. I'm going to keep that. I pulled my ABH trio out of my declutter. This is a little bit on the lighter side, but it's so pretty. And now that I have a little bit more room, I don't feel as forced to declutter it. And then I did pull my Game of Thrones one off of display. I like to use this as a, like a bronzer topper. I mix these for highlighter and then this pink one on its own is a good blush topper. I keep it mainly for the packaging. I mean, the products that are in here are fine, but again, now that I have room, I may put it back in the drawer. Um, this, these are some blushes. I th think I'm going to put this back on my table. I need to get some sort of a case for the Sydney Grace one. This is the Elvira blush that came out of my Lunatic Cosmetics palette. I have all of those cases for all my Lunatic palettes in a bag somewhere down here. I'm looking for them because I'm... Currently, all of those are in my single shadows. I depotted them. They're magnetized palettes, so they're easy to remove, but I want to put them back in the packaging because I don't use them in the single shadow container. If you've seen my videos, the only thing I use the single shadows for is to customize my ColourPop palette. So I want to put this one back. I want to put this in an individual blush case, and then these three will probably get decluttered, but I'm going to put this back on my shelf. This is a good face palette from Ofra. Again, you got blush, bronzer, highlighter, and then these are eyeshadows. I did travel with this when I went to Montana. Okay, I have a couple from Creature Cosmetics, and I've said before, I don't love their eyeshadow formula, but I love their liquid lipsticks. They dry down completely. They've got some fun colors. They're transfer proof, which is what I want, especially in a bright color. And I like their face palettes. So I have I actually have three from them. So this is the Tar Man. This is from the Return of the Living Dead. This one is a true face palette. It has two blushes, a highlighter, and a bronzer. This highlighter looks darker than it did online, but it's um, it works for my skin tone. So that is nice. I will say, like the super indie brands, Dark and Glam is another one. They take horrible, like they're they're not horrible photos. They just don't do a lot of swatch it swatch photos on their website so it's difficult sometimes to see how colors are going to come out but I've noticed it with like the indie brands but it likes it it's it's a gold but it's not so dark that I can't wear it because like I said it showed up and I was like oh that looks darker than it did in the picture I was able to get the Trick or Treat one last year when they brought it back. It's currently sold out. It is something that I think they restock periodically, but it's two blushes, contour and bronzer. Again, all the colors work. My skin tone and then the other one from them that I have. We're not doing so good as far as decluttering, but that's okay. Randy's Rules. He's my favorite character from the Scream franchise. I'm still bitter that they killed him off. But again, bronzers, blush, highlighters. Again, everything in here works for me, so that's nice. I do have a Laura Geller trio. This, I don't know what these shades are in here. Um, I knew when I ordered it, but it's just Laura Geller's. Like, this is what Ulta's duping. The blush in here is a little more of a cherry shade. I think this is, uh, Dolce or French Vanilla. I think that might be the French Vanilla. It's the more subtle highlight and then you got a pretty bronzer. I just, that one is difficult to store. Okay. This is one that I have decluttered and I have brought back and then I've decluttered. This is the Physician's Formula palette. It does have a like setting powder which I think is why I brought it back because I've been utilizing palettes like this more upstairs so you got a setting powder a blush two highlighters this one's like this super sparkly that you're seeing is overspray so the actual highlighter itself is uh, not quite as shimmery as it looks it's a little more subdued and then you've got a more like gold 
highlighter. And then you've got two bronzers. What is this? There's a butter bronzer and then the matte bronzer. So I pulled it back in to see at some point if I can use it upstairs. And I like the ones that have a setting powder in them. I, when I keep my smaller makeup bag upstairs, it's handy to have. So we'll see. I haven't actually used it up there. I don't know if there's anything in here that I'm actually going to get rid of. Let's see what, let's keep going. And then worst case scenario, we'll just reorganize. So I have a trio from the balm. Again, I do like this. We've got Betty Lou, Cindy Lou, and the Mary Lou Manizer. Again, I use this as a bronzer topper. I like to go in with the matte bronzer and then something that's got a little bit of a sheen, satin, shimmer to kind of help blend it out. I feel like it gives you a little bit more of a sun-kissed natural look blush topper and then the highlighter this is in the balm of your hand I think they still sell this palette this is one again you've got blushes a bronzer some eyeshadows and then the Mary Mary Lou Manizer again it's something nice I've held on to this because I am utilizing face palettes more upstairs I've had this pure one for a long time and it's super pretty. Um, I think it would pair well with the ABH because these are a little bit brighter of tones. So I think I'm gonna hold on to this again. Because again, like these are these are pretty matte, so then I could go in with these on top for a pretty like combo situation. This tart Hamptons Weekender. I have traveled with this so much. Uh, there's a really big dip in the bronzer. The blush is really pigmented in this. It's, I've gotten rid of all my other Tarte face palettes, but I really like this little. And this one is still available on their website. OPV Beauty. This looks like a darker version of the ABH palette. I think that's what the brand was trying to dupe. But again, I think this highlighter will work on my skin tone. I like that it, again, is a little bit deeper, not quite the same shade. Okay, we have the Sweet Peach Glow. Mine is still good, as far as I know. Let me smell it again. And I know there was issues with this when it came out. This shows up on my skin tone. I guess some people it didn't. So I don't know if I got lucky and just got a good one. I got this used on Poshmark. Some lady had it, never used it, but it it works for me, so I've kept it. Um, we got Marc Jacobs. I got this through like BoxyCharm on clearance. This doesn't exist anymore, but I hadn't really tried a whole lot from Marc Jacobs, so I picked it up on sale. I have the Becca, Chloe, and Malika collab. I don't know. Again, all of these work on my skin tone, and it's funny because Chloe's a little bit deeper, and so is Malika, and their face palettes, I think that was some controversy, were all pretty light, so I don't know exactly who they were marketing this for, but again, like the highlighter in here works on, has always worked on my skin tone, and then the blushes are not, like, too crazy. They're pigmented, and they've got some sheen to them, but they're not so dark that they look clowny on me. So that, I think this is the lighter version they had to, but the, even the dark one isn't, wasn't that dark. So it was, that was kind of a weird, I got this through Nordstrom Rack, which isn't surprising. Cause like I said, I think people are expecting their stuff to be a little bit deeper than it was. This is another Becca holiday palette. It's got, Champagne Pop, Caramel, Truffle, Berry, and Pink Cream. So again, I use this as a highlighter, bronzer, and then this is technically also a highlighter. And then you've got like blush, glowy blushes or blush toppers. It's pretty. Again, I think I got that through Nordstrom Rack. I have not used this Sephora palette. This is one that I got, I think on sale. It was a holiday palette. Again, it's got three blushes, a bronzer, and a highlighter in it. 
I like that there's kind of an orangey one. I haven't used this, I've swatched it, so I'm excited. We're gonna try and keep that. What is this Ofer one? Okay, this one is bronzers, highlighters, and blushes. So that's pretty, forgot that I owned this. I have one from Natasha Denona. Again, I got this through BoxyCharm. I like this whole thing. I'm able to use it, the creams are nice. This is kind of what made it a little bit easier for me to use creams. I don't think I've ever used this diamond. Maybe I did once, but again, I like this. I think it got mixed reviews. I think that's how BoxyCharm ended up with it, but I like it, I still use it. Then we have these Benefit face palettes. I think they still sell these kinds of things at the holidays. Um, I have two. This one's got Dallas and Georgia, which are pretty neutral blushes. Sugar Bomb. It's got Cookie and Hula. The main reason I bought this one was for like this blush and the cookie shade. And then I ended up with this one and the Georgia Peach Blush, and this actually smells like peaches. This is the one that I don't use as often. It's got Dandelion, Dallas again, Hula, Tickle, which is a little more of a pink highlighter, and then California. But it's pretty. These were really sought after. I don't use them a ton, but those were one of those things that I wanted for a really long time and finally got... So I'm gonna see if I can reposition you and then we'll So we didn't really get rid of anything. I just am now going to be moving stuff back in. Let's see, um, the other one, since I have two, like I said, I forgot that I even owned that. And then it's nice because I think these are, yeah, these are the same pans that are in here. So like if I wanted to take this whole thing, these could be swapped out for shades that are in there. And then this highlighter, if you have any of their full size ones, you again, you can swap it out. Like this one I'll leave because it's actually four, but you could swap this out. Same thing with the eyeshadows. If you have other palettes, they're all magnetized. So you can kind of if you just want to bring one when you're traveling, you can customize them a little bit, which is nice. Let's see if this back on is big enough. We got Sephora. Let's see, this other one is also Sephora. The only thing I hate about, I wished that the packaging was more like, because this is flat on top. This. Laura Geller, like the actual Laura Geller one is domed, so it's super annoying to store that. Bugs the tar out of me. Let's see, these, I kind of like, kind of be utilized together. We'll keep this still. This is one that I, like I said, I've, tried, I've decluttered it a couple of times and then changed my mind and brought it back. And then the lid on this one slightly raised. Like I won't ever travel with these unless I like rubber banded them really well, but I like the packaging. And like I said, the formula on those is not bad. And it's nice because this It Cosmetics book will actually fit in here. So here's a good overview. So again, didn't really get rid of anything, but I have room at least if I get new stuff because that was going to be the issue is I was like maxed out. So if anything new came in, it was gonna have to go. So I like that I've got a little bit of room, stuff spaced out better. I think I have two face palettes upstairs, but those are ones that I've been using more frequently. So I didn't feel like I needed to include them in this cause I was gonna keep them anyway. But the only thing I pulled out was my little blush palette. But yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. This probably wasn't very exciting, but again, it needed to be done. So I figured I would film it.